Hello and welcome to Heat of the Night, where we tackle four wings and four questions from mild to crazy hot. My name is Chris Fetherling. I'm the Instructional Technology Coordinator here at Lincoln Way Central. Today's guest is our new principal, Dr. Beth McNamara. Obviously, your first year as principal in our district. She's been a teacher, department chair, PBS director, assistant principal, and now she is officially our new principal. Welcome, Dr. McNamara. Thank you for having me. Um, how do you do with spicy foods? So first off, because this is pretty hot. Yeah, so this is a little outside my comfort zone. I do enjoy wings. I do typically order them with mild sauce, but since this is student produced, I am willing to take the challenge. Yeah, well, so we're excited about having you. The coolest part about our show is it is totally produced by two students, um, Devin Smith and Kyle Pearson. They're doing a great job. This is our second episode and we're super excited about the special because we get to share with you some awesome people that we have here at Central. Um, so without any further ado, let's get started. Our first wing sauce is Hot Ones, the classic. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, let's, let's get a little cheers here and let's go and let's see how hot this is. Not too bad. Not too bad. Has a little spice right off the bat. Okay. Okay. Not eat the whole wing. Or well, some people do uh, on the actual show, hot ones. Some people take a couple bites. That's what I did. Mr. Waddell last week ate the whole thing because, but he's a different animal. What, is there a rule in the water? No, I... no, you can drink as soon okay. as you want. I, I'm going to hold off for a little bit. So here at Central, um, you have worn many hats and you have deep history here. So, I mean, you've been here a long time. Um, so how does it feel to be principal at your alma mater, the place where you graduated? Chris, it feels great. I am I'm extremely proud to be the principal here at Lincoln Way Central. I mean, this place has really helped shape me into the person that I've become. As you mentioned, I, I was a former student. I've spent the majority of my professional career here. My kids are gonna come here. This place um, has been a huge part of who I am. It's been a part of my family and it's pretty special to me. Um, and, I, you know, having worn so many different hats and worked with so many different people, I do feel very um, privileged to have worked with such an amazing staff in which I was able to learn and grow from. Um, and I'm pretty proud of that. And look, I have really enjoyed thus, thus far working together with the students as the principal. Um, I look forward to continuing that throughout the rest of the year, working together, helping make this place the best that it can be, supporting the kids in the classroom, outside the classroom. It's just a great place and I'm pretty proud to be here. Yeah, it's, it's, it really is a special place and Dr. McNamara has gotten us off to such a good start. Um, I know we're only three weeks into school, but it has not been three weeks worth of work. It has been a ton of time of work and getting things together and organized. And that's taken a lot. And I know our staff, our students, and all the rest of our administration are super excited about having you. This has been such a fun three weeks of school so far. It's been far. a great start. It's good energy. Yeah, it's been a great energy. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go to our second wing. Um, this one is Baxter's. It has some pineapple taste to it. Um, so hopefully you're, you're a pineapple fan. Not on your pizza, probably, but, but on your wings. I like that one. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to your your student based stuff. Um, so you are part of the LWC girls soccer program when you were here, helping lead them as a captain to a second place trophy here at school, which I think is like so awesome. And when you come in the school from the athletic entrance, you'll see there's a big trophy case and she's obviously a, a huge part of that team. Um, and you were also a four year letter winner at Evansville University. Um, which is so cool and to be a four-year soccer player and know what that's like. Um, what was that experience like and how has it shaped, you know, who you are now? Because being, you know, competing at such a high level and always being a part of programs, that had to be an awesome experience for you. Yeah, soccer's been a part of my life. I I started playing since, you know, when I was five in some, in some fashion. I've been lucky to be on a, a wide variety of teams, whether that's Park District, club, I had a great experience in high school. I was fortunate to play in college as well. I think um, some of the key takeaways from soccer is just, I've learned the value of, of discipline and hard work. Yeah. You know, having been on so many teams, I was not always the 
always the best, um, the strongest, the fastest player out there, but no one was going to outwork me. And I think one of the most important things that I've taken away from soccer and my experience being a soccer player is just the, the importance of teamwork. In the, in the game of soccer, one person isn't going to win it all. Um, they can make a difference, but at the end, you win as a team. And I think that's very um, relatable to what we do. The Lincoln Way Central team, I think, is one of the strongest teams um, in, this, in this area, in this district. Um, and I know that it's, it's not going to be me moving this place forward. It's going to be the team of people that we have, whether it's, you know, it's administrators, students, parents, teachers, we're all in this together. And I really am excited to see what this team is going to do this year and how we're going to continue to make this one of the best years yet. Yeah, I know. I know me being here, you know, like 18 years, which seems like like the blink of an eye. You've been here 19 um, and like it seems like everything goes so fast, but we have such good staff and it's like it makes it so much easier. I hope yeah. It's got to make your job easier. But I know we also have so many alumni who yeah. work here, which is such a such a cool thing. It is. And I mean, it is it is awesome to see how many people come back to this place myself included it's just it's a place that is pretty special and it's a place that you call home as a student um and somewhere you you do venture back to if you go into the world of education because it's a place that you you want to surround yourself with these people yeah and probably bring your kids back to correct school here that's, as well. it's just so, so cool that so many people want to come back and give back and be a part of it yeah um, so all right let's go to our third wing um this one's a little little hotter los calientes um okay. this is the hot ones one we're starting to get into the kind of spicier area oh yeah that one's gonna make a difference that one's hotter Do not enjoy that one. It was a little hotter. It got a little hotter. So, moving on to, to our third wing, our third question. Um, you met your husband while studying abroad, which is such a cool story. And you're blessed with four wonderful children under the age of nine. Um, so you have four young kids. Um, and you recently moved your family to Mokina, where you grew up and like, they're gonna go to Central, which is so cool. Um, tell us about your family and how you balance that with everything that you have going on in your life. Chris, um, my family's everything to me. Yes, I've been married to my husband, Pat, for 15 years this past July. We have four beautiful children, like you said. Avery is nine. Mary-Kate is uh, just turned six on Monday. Uh, Patrick is four, and my little Eddie is um, 22 months old. Uh, I think like any parent, uh, it takes a village to just get through your day, uh, let alone regardless of whatever you have on your plate. I think I am in a, I'm very fortunate that to have such a supportive husband, my parents, his parents, um, we, we work together um, to allow you know everyone to do what it is that they do. And I think that one of the key pieces as to why this works and how we balance it is my, my kids love Lincoln Way Central just as much as I do. Um, I mean, Patrick on his, back to school pictures when it says, what do you want to do when you grow up? It says, I want to be a knight. That's so cool. Um, and and they look forward to coming to events with me. I think that you'll see um, my kids with me often as we go to different events and supporting our students because they do love being with the big kids and, and, and really learning and growing from them as well. Yeah, I think I think that's so cool. And I think something that really says a lot about Linkway Central is how many of our staff members have kids who go to our school? Yeah. Um, to be honest, if you work here and you're involved and you're a part of everything here, like you get involved and you're like, I want my kids here. Like this is the place that I want them. Um, and I know I have that experience and you do. And we have so many other staff members that have the same. We see each other often at various <laughs> games That's with correct. our kids. And I think our kids are friends now. Mm -hmm. They're similar ages. Uh, they do, they love going. Uh, and they, they beg me to go to uh, different events. And now I don't take more than one or two at a time <laughs> because then my stress levels kind of go off, off the chart, but uh, I try to rotate. Yeah, yeah, it is definitely, definitely a stress level piece. All right, well, we're at our last wing. So with our last one, this is Last Dab at the Apollo. Thank you, Hot Ones. Shout out to them. This show is a great idea and super fun. For our last one, we do a little bit of a last dab. So you don't have to put a lot and in, you don't you you don't even have to if you don't want but i think you're going to because you, you like challenges 
with competitive. Yep. And so we're going to get this last one in. Um, so number four. All right. Here we go. Last app. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's not mm -hmm. good. Yeah, I'm going to feel that the rest of the night. Yeah, that one's hot. So, <clears throat> our last question. Um, so, we've worked with each other for a lot of our careers, and I'm assuming your answer is probably similar to mine. Um, but what is really your favorite memory here since you've been at Lincoln Way Central? Yeah, I think what comes to mind is really just my experience as a student athlete here. Uh, there's, I think, the all encompassing picture of um, just being a soccer player. I had uh, made so many memories with my teammates over the, the years that I played with them together. I uh, had amazing coaches. We had, we had great success as a program. Um, and I just think that, that that sense of pride as it relates to wearing the Lincoln Way Central jersey and playing for our school and representing our school just meant so much to me. And that is absolutely what comes to mind when I think of Lincoln Way Central and my experience here as a student and as an athlete. Well, that was super tough to get through. I'll tell you, that question was definitely the hardest um, because of that hot wing. Um, but I want to thank you for coming on. Thank you. This takes a lot to come on a show like this, and this is such a fun thing, especially with our students creating it. Um, I want to obviously thank you guys for joining us for our second episode of Heat of the Night. Um, we will continue these on Friday um, where we tackle tough questions and way tougher wings with that last one. Um, have a great weekend. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.